Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it's Azeroth again, and we're going to be doing another Azeroth Wars cast. Why? Because the last one you watched, I totally balls it up, didn't I? Oh, so hard. So, I want to appreciate those who are coming back for round two after that fail game. Oh, that was my personal fail game. No players messed up, except for that one totally cheating, uh, you know airship mass user but that's fine because it doesn't matter guys it, i'm back i'm happy i haven't watched this replay but it comes highly recommended so we're gonna watch it and quick little thing i want to say that i am extremely thankful to everyone who sends me replays so ignore the rant and focus on the fact that i love you very much and i super appreciate the fact that you guys are sending me replays it's very helpful and without you guys i'm literally nothing i am the equivalent of a sportscaster and we all know that a sportscaster doesn't have a job without you know the athletes so you guys are my athletes you you guys are awesome you send me these games you play them you show up your amazing skills and i'm just lucky enough to get to uh Show it off a little bit, you know, add a little color commentary, but not much. I mean, really, you're the one doing the work. Oh, Arthas, Juku. Oh, Juku. Okay, so, uh, Stian123, we know him, Reaper of Doom as well. Robert, oh my god, playing Teal. Juku is purple. Eat My Head is playing yellow. Questar is orange. Nerzulin is green. Balryon is pink. Oh, Vamp Uber Mandred is gray steak on spear is light blue evo one two three is or is that evil 93 <laughs> is dark green and then pipias 3k is gonna be playing uh brown i'm a little worried guys did i already cast this game i'm super confused i i did like half a cast of one game the other night i was pretty shammered with a friend and i have no memory of whether or not i actually did this so I really hope I didn't. We do see light blue steak on spear moving out here. Oh my god, did I do this replay already? I hope I didn't. I don't remember it. Oh god, I'm so bad, guys. I'm nervous. I'm gonna get halfway through this cast and be like, oh, fuck my life. Zul Jin trying to hold off the elves. He says, not in my home. But unfortunately, the elves vastly outnumber him, so he's just going to get his face le murdered. Yep, he goes down. Poor, poor brave hero that he was, he dies. We'll forever remember him. What was I talking? Oh, there we go. Okay, back to the whole sending me video games to cast. I have the most up-to-date, for the most part, um, Dark Ages of Warcraft I can find pretty easily, Azeroth Wars. If you're going to send me a Broken Alliances replay, also send me the map that it was played in because there are about a thousand different Broken Alliances re uh, maps out there. They're all different. They get updated, little things change, and if I don't have that exact specific one, I have to go looking for it for an hour, and you have no idea how annoying it is to spend as much time looking for a map as I spend actually doing the replay. So please, if you send me a replay of any game that I don't normally cast, in fact, any game other than Azeroth Wars, just send me the file, okay? Just send me the file so I can cast your game as quickly as possible. Send the replay itself, and the exact version of the game that it was played in. Teal moving out now. He's going to catch Robert a little out of position. Robert's now currently dealing with the Blackrock uh, NPCs. And God, this is unfortunate because a great many of his units are going to be stuck in the back hitting buildings rather than enemies. Even his hero Murden back there. Oh God, you don't want Magni to get focused down. <sighs> Ren Blackhand in the front of the fight. Uh, the Horde's lines look a little weak here. Perhaps a preemptory special attack there from Muradin using his stun uh, a little bit before he needed actually to. For those of you who just heard my phone go off, it is indeed Dr. Eleven yelling, Will everyone be quiet for a minute because I am talking! Great scene where he's standing in Stonehenge. Oh, Stonehenge rather. Red finishing up some of these creeps. Storm Giants in the north. What are we seeing over here? Kinda, I thought we were going to see a conflict. Uh, perhaps a fight down here, but not quite yet. Sigon Spear doesn't have that many units, but again, neither does the Horde really, so not too much of a worry. Brown has not yet moved down. Where is Brown? Baby Brown, I need you. Come on, man. You're supposed to be helping our good buddy Steak. Uh, Juku. How, oh, okay. He's just, just finishing clearing out this. Juku, how are you holding off against Red? Juku, I... Juku, where are you? Juku, I don't know what's going on. Okay, uh, I can't find Purple's Hero Squad. Oh, okay, guys. He is not going to waste any time. He is going to immediately land. He says, fine, Red, you don't want to attack me right now? 
Green and I are just gonna go bone you. Oh my god, Nerzulin and Juku, such excellent players. I love watching unorthodox plays out of them like that. Meanwhile, down here, Light Blue, he's trying to kill off Rexar. Don't want him to get any levels, if at all possible. He is gonna have to retreat there, trying to keep his Shadow Leaf Sentinels alive. Unfortunately, they take extra damage from these Stone Moss soldiers. Pink coming down to help out. He might just chain heal Rexar back up to full health. And meanwhile, we have to hope that Brown will get down here very quickly. And oh god, Red is just running straight in he figures hey if the north alliance isn't here i'll just fucking kill him there's only one problem with that and that is the fact that if you're red and you kill off let's say capital city and stratholm cool purple lost you know all his buildings in there uh if you kill arthas then arthas will become the lich king but if the north alliance kills your base you're just done. So we see he is starting to produce some necromancers, abominations, crypt fiends. Good basic composition that we see from most reds. Uh, it just makes sense. You know, you got your big tank, you got your range, and then you got your units that can raise the enemy dead, or even your dead back up as more units. So it makes sense. Pretty standard, I would say. It's like Marine Marauder Medivac. That's the most base you can get. Orin's going to try to put some hurt on the back lines of red here. But, nope, not too much damage yet. We're not actually seeing a lot of water elementals, so not that many units to tank for orange here. Indeed, that plague is going to get there. You can hear, you can hear his units turning into zombies to turn back around on him. Now, for those of you who aren't aware, I believe that the Dreadlord heroes, oh god, purple and green funneling into this choke point, which slightly favors Reaper of Doom. Reaper we've seen before, he's a very good player. Uh, yeah, but, uh, I guess at the end of the day, indeed, the Alliance does outnumber him. We're gonna see a flanking attack here from Red. Green's gonna make sure to get these Elven Ballista out of the way, because at the end of the day, those are where we're gonna put the real hurt on that Frozen Throne. You wanna keep those alive. They're very annoying to try to rebuild. And while they did bring some builders... Actually, I'm not sure Green brought any builders. Huh, how odd. Let's go ahead and look on here near Zulin. Do you have idle workers? Yes, he does have two. I take it back. I totally missed the High Elven Barracks and the High Elven arcane sanctum so they're driving back both red and wow do a very good job here you saw that green is using dragonhawk riders i'm saying uh dragonhawk riders used a lot more because in the early game you have to worry about let's say red goes bonkers and he makes four was it four frost worms and then he's also got saffron right and uh, we see that that battle took a huge toll on our invading allies here Let's say he has four Frostworms and Saffron. That's five flying units. You get five of these Dragonhawk Riders up, and suddenly you can lock them all down, and hopefully green or someone can target them. Or blue makes Frostworms, and you go ahead and target them. I would hate to see a total of nine Frostworms in the air, like four from blue, four from red, and then Saffron. Ugh, and then whatever, Gargoyles. And, fuck, actually, Mass Air, guys. If you, <laughs> red and blue could just go Mass Air and go batshit crazy. So many Gargoyles, so many... Uh, frost worms and corruptors. Oh, he's gonna get the crown on Nair on Kel'Thuzad, guys. He's gonna get the crown, and I'm totally missing what's happening over here. I'm absolutely sure of it. Nope, not actually a big engagement yet. Stake on Spear has gotten his hero group, the Shadow Leaf Sentinels. So he's he's okay. He's he's moving along at a fair clip. And I'm looking at the time, and I'm thinking we might have to do this in a two-part episode. I hate to do that to you guys. I like doing the one parts. I know you guys prefer it at the end of the day. But unfortunately for me, oh god, towers do so much damage to Dragonhawk Riders. And that's the other thing. Dragonhawk Riders are great because they can drop down that cloud on towers and stop them from attacking. Which is pretty useful, actually, on these Ice Crown Obelisks because they do so much damage. 38 to 65 chaos damage. And we see the plague has been unleashed in the North Alliance. Oh, it's getting, getting kind of tense. And Teal is not moving out. Uh, in fact, he's been forced back into Outland. He's now bunkering up, but he's not taking any of these creeps whatsoever. So much free gold sitting here. I mean, literally, almost a thousand free gold. The Alliance isn't given up yet. Blue continuing to use these Warlocks to excellent effect. He's trying to send in these quote-unquote free Fellstalkers. Maybe mana burn as many Paladins and stuff as he can. I don't think that we currently see... No, we do see a mana regen aura up here. So that's on, I think, Anastarian. If we can find that sexy beast, where is he? Oh, there you are, Anastarian. Oh, is that your aura? Yes, it is. Okay, and meanwhile, Plague going batshit crazy. Red could just group up all his zombies, kill that gate, and then go kill Stratholm Castle. But I think he's pretty content right now with having taken Capital Palace and gotten, get, getting the crown of Lordaeron. Uh, Brown says, crap. What's wrong, Brown? Are you okay, buddy? What happened? Are you okay? Did someone beat you up? 
No, actually, you're whooping all the ass. You did get these Chimeras. Very good choice, especially against the masked uh, heavy armor units of pink and gray. All those grunts, all those champions, all the Torin, they all have heavy armor. And the Chimera has a splash magic damage attack from the air. Very hard to take down. What is this? Juku giving control of something. Orange. Maybe he's giving it to Orange, and Orange now has the job of trying to hold off the undead single-handedly. Or maybe or he's going to let use Orange use those units there. We do see 0-1 upgrades for Juku, 1-1 one, one upgrades for our red player. He's now going to start breaking into Stratholme. Oh, I don't think there's a chance in a hell that it's going to survive. Meanwhile, don't lose Sylvanas and Northrend. That would be very bad. We see one attack upgrade for our green player. And once again, light blue, sorry, yellow is going to be chased out of the burning steps by teal. Excellent use of fell orc raiders. They're very, very strong against riflemen. And a lot of yellows like to just mass riflemen. We do see 2 2 upgrades, though, from our yellow player. Let's take a look at his money. How's it going? 274, floating a bit more than you ever should in the early game. I would spend those on thanes, something tanky, some, maybe even griffin riders. I don't know. Well, actually, maybe not against fell orc raiders because let's say he got in snare, then he could just fuck your day up. Oh no, Thoris Trollbane, don't die, man. No, dude, ooh, pull him out. Yellow, sort of just digging around like, hey, I'd rather shoot trolls than fight an army. You know what I'm saying? Teal, still massing up, not creeping at all. Okay. Light blue pushing in, though. He's going to make a bit of a, oh, God, he wants to, <laughs> he really wants to kill off Gray right now. And do we see Gray's army anywhere? Nope, Brown's cleaning up pink. Oh, shit, pink pushed back into what would be this is like a faux orgrimmar it's fake it's really not orgrimmar we all know that we're not going to pretend that it is nice dispels going down there thoris trollbane kind of caught behind the lines hopefully he doesn't get targeted again raiders are not super amazing and actually an interesting point you'll see there that when muradin does his stun those units become invulnerable for a minute uh, just for like a second, but it does stop the DPS on them, so you have to balance that. It's like, do I want to slow their damage down or slow my damage down? And sometimes it's better to slow their damage down and let yourself get into a better position. Gray getting wiped off the map. 1-1 one, one upgrades for our light blue player. And let's see how Pius is doing. Pius, where are you, baby? Uh, Pipius. Pipius. Pipaus. 3K. Mountain Giants. He's got 2-1 upgrades on them. Yellow looking kind of scary with his 2-2. Looks like he's spending most of his money on upgrades. And 3-2 on our dark green player. Goodness gracious me. Evil 93. But again... Ah, oh, oh, he has not upgraded his priest as far as I can... No, no, no priests have been upgraded. He's spamming outriders uh, and captains and just getting upgrades. It seems to be working. I'm not going to say it's not a good strat because if it looks dumb and it works, it's not dumb. Red still trying to kill this off, but it looks like Juku might act. <laughs> He's got a bunch of peasants in there repairing it, so it's just endless. Let's see if his money's ticking down while that repair goes up. Uh, now he's down to zero money. We'll see no longer, the uh, repairs are no longer going down. Oh, but he did build some cannon towers and just a few knights to fend this off. We're seeing he's trying to kind of close it off there, building the cannon towers right in front of the walls. And he could theoretically defend this if he has just enough money each round to make it worthwhile. And oh god, they try to push into the Frozen Throne and they immediately get pushed back out. Silverhand Paladin activating his Divine Shield just before he goes down. Oh, he's the luckiest bastard in the world. We're seeing Nerzulin giving Juku 225 gold, bringing Nerzulin down to 193. So Nerzulin, plenty of money, really. And they're saying, so North Alliance beat the Scourge? Uh, not it's it's really hard to get a a read on what's happening here overall. It looked like what Red was just destroying, but then Red sort of petered out of steam because he had to start oh god he had to start defending against the Ice Crown attack because at the end of the day he loses. But look at all this stuff! Look at all he could just wreck Stratholme, wreck it so hard. But he's not using these free spawns. Get in there. Do some damage. You have better upgrades as far as I know. Yes, ghouls. 1-1. One, one. What? 1-0-1. Uh, one, one. God, come on. Uh, Teal, how you doing, buddy? Still still bunkering up. Making more boulder towers. Not a bad decision. Boulder towers are always good. He's getting Eridar warlocks with zero upgrades. Felguard still 1-1. One, one. Succubi. Wait. Oh, okay. Succubi do steel ranged weapons. I hate that when it's split up. For, like, no apparent reason whatsoever. 
And Light Blue is just cleaning house. He's now currently killing off the Grand Pyramid of Zulfarak. He's got most of the control points over here. We do see that Druids have 9. He has 12. Has Pink died yet? Pink has been driven out. Brown totally just whooped all the ass. And Red now uh, assaulting a single farm. Uh, he has so many units that could kill Stratholm, but he's not doing it. Probably because he's very, very focused on Northrend right now. He is moving back out, taking some of these control points. He has to watch about putting himself out of position. I would say just bunker up the Frozen Throne and then go bananas on the rest of the North Alliance. Just take Lord Ron. God, zombies! They're just they're free units sitting there waiting for you to use them. And are we gonna see Ragnaros go down? Nah, not quite yet. Not quite yet. Dark Iron Pyromancers looking like Thanes, but they're not. They are not Thanes. They are they are just pretends. Okay, so you can use these units to some effect, making landing. He's he's got units all over here, and my guess is he wants to break into Dalaran. That'd be great if Blue could get the thing, uh, get the book rather. Tabbing around to see. Oh, that looks exciting. Let's go back to that. Oh, Red's unit's getting caught out of position, chased back into the frozen throne area. Come on, just <sighs> Ice Crown Gage Glacier, 50 gold a minute, okay? 50 gold a minute. It's so much. It's like 10 times anything else. It's redonkulous. Just bunker up in there, take all the north control points, and stay alive and kill Stratholme and get Arthas and then be a happy, happy bunkery. Happy, happy buggy. Oh, there we go. Nice. Nice flame strike on there. Doing some damage. Not the huge amount that he needs. We do see Red is using Kel'Thuzad over here for scouting. Oh, he lost Kel'Thuzad. That sucks. I think that's like only his, his, really, his only real hero up here. Yeah, both his heroes are dead. So, Red has no heroes at the moment. He has a plethora of units and plenty of income. But, dear God, we do see the Stormwind Tram has been completed. So, now they can move back and forth between Stormwind and Ironforge. Red! Red, just get in there. Break some buildings, Red. You get three more for every building you break. <gasps> uh, nope, looks like between the reinforcements and everything, Red just not, not, not surviving. Uh, Blue is trying to break down the walls here, but they're being repaired by peasants. Oh, that's so annoying. And guys, I found out that, you know, peasants are so squishy, right? If you're, like, yellow and you're defending against a choke, get, 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 get the friggin engineers please they're so good not only do they have more health not only do they have the landmine ability they can shut down mechanical units they actually have a semi-decent attack but they repair too and yeah they repair guys it's so good it's so good uh you know how you just see like one volley of whatever siege units are attacking or you know you've got peasants behind the lines and he just casts one spell and kills them all that doesn't happen with engineers they're really strong and light blue sort of standing around he's not sure what to do is he gonna go kill cthulhu no he's invulnerable that's right but he did clear up all these units and get himself some nice nice creep gold he can actually take the encourage control point and be safe there. Red still bunkering up in Northrin. Oh god, the Ice Crown Glacier is under assault and he can't seem to break Stratholme. He threw away so many units on that that now the North Alliance might actually be okay. They might actually be okay to start moving again. Blue's attack failed, leaving tons of dead units. Lots of zombies still out here. He's gonna put a single meat wagon onto the job of cleaning the stuff up, but OJ wants to come out and get it. Blue sees the gate open, he's like, no, no. Yum, 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 yum. Oh no, don't lose Jubilee Tholos! Ah, Jubilee Thos gets out of there. Whoo, so close. Uh, Stian, one, two, three, one. Trying, oh god, he's trying to hold on, but god, that's such a coordinated attack from purple and green, and they're both such good players. Nerzulin with perfect chain heals. Oh, but red does summon a bunch of animated dead. Unfortunately, they know the counter to that. You just go ahead and dispel them, because they are technically, you know, actual <laughs> summoned units. So, I would actually like to see Red summon thing maybe actually be like, you know, invulnerable, like they normally are. Oh god, Red getting cleared up so hard, 85 gold left. As he, he's reproducing abominations, but we see they're not actually in the fight. And in the meantime, god, it does not look like blue and green, uh, sorry, purple and green are dropping butt at all. Orange, uh, pink has been reduced to try to take these, <laughs> these islands, but it's just not working out for him very well. It's... Val Ryan staying in though, he's a good guy, he's awesome. Vamp, Umberbred, Uber Mandred. Oh no, look at this. Guys, getting kind of scary here. 
Red on his last limb. If he can't clear this up, this will be the last of what he has to send. And Vamp, where are you, baby? Huh. Okay. I'm trying to figure out what Vamp is doing. I don't know if he has any stuff ever. Let's move it, broski. And there we go. It looks like purple and green are indeed going to clean up. And God, these Silverhand Paladins are so durable. Meanwhile, green in the back with all his support casters. Oh, it's such a great role for him to be in. We do see a Frost Nova go down, but immediate heals getting dropped on there as well. Not a problem for him at all. And looks like red. Red is... <laughs> Red's dead, guys. I hate to say this, but this is red dead and there's no chance of redemption for him. Okay, and Ancients of War 3-2. Oh, God, I really want to see 8-8 eight, eight mech Ancients of War army. God, I really do. Please, guys, send me that for Atypical Azeroth Wars. Um, green's totally safe. Red, lots of units out here. Uh, purple's still bunkering up even more, just making scout towers, breaking up the topography. Oh, no, Karen Bloodhoof has been killed. What happened? My guess is he tried to land and take this, and those towers kill him because those towers are really mean up there. Meanwhile, blue, blue's in here, level 11 Tychondria, suddenly tons of warlocks, oh no, they're trying to focus down these units as quickly as they can, but actually, actually killing off, um, all, wow, I mean, if blue had been there maybe a minute before, that he would have won, but now it looks like Juku might actually get cleaned up by the attack of red, and, oh shit, <laughs> these summoned units are now attacking blue, oh, it's awful. Come on, just, just mana burn them and stuff. Tychondria is level 12. God, it's so easy to level up Dreadlords. It feels so great. And now these Paladins are going to start working on the Warlocks. They don't have very much health. He needs to summon those Spellhounds again, but I don't know if he has enough mana. No, he doesn't. Oh, Crypt Fiend's coming in, streaming right by, trying to chase down King Arthas. He wants to kill him off because King Arthas is terrifying. And there goes my phone again, Dr. Eleven. Gotta love him, guys. And did Red get his second chance? Uh, Yes, he did. Does he have... Sylvanas is the question. Yes, at some point they did kill off Sylvanas and Northrin, so that's amazing. I bet you it was Blue. I bet you Blue managed to kill off Sylvanas at the last moment and totally gave Red a chance there. Careful, Veramothris, you're taking some damage. Getting kind of focused down. Jaina, oh, and the newly married Jaina just gets Abomination punched in the back of the head. That sounds much worse than Donkey Punch. Abomination punched. Oh my god, guys, I'm just... I don't even know what's going on at this point. Uh, there's a certain twist that I was informed about that I'm a little curious. I want to see it happen, but at the same time, I'm worried at what it means. Admiral Proudmoore's flagship over here bombarding Red's new little base. You gotta remember, Red still has decent upgrades, a bit of money. Blue has taken back over Northrend, so they, they could keep fighting. They really could. They have a decent chance. I know King Arthas is coming home, and now they've regained the crown from Kel... Zod? Kel'Thuzad. I was on the impression Arthas couldn't become King Arthas if Capital City fell. Let's check on that. Arthas Menethil. <laughs> I get this, like, if I click on his picture, maybe he'll get dropped out of the boat and die in the ocean. Uh, no, he certainly looks like he's King of Lordaeron. Yes, he is, guys. Okay, so I take it back. I have no idea what's going on. And I've missed the entire fight here where Dark Green and Yellow smashed Teal. Uh, maybe they didn't smash him. Maybe Teal... Oh! Teal did get back there and out there, so he could make a last stand down here. Robert, come on, baby. You can do it. You have a lot of money. You could bunker up in here like crazy. Make me proud. Purple. Stratholme's still safe. Red building a base, trying to make himself a bit of a home. This house is not a home, ladies and gentlemen. Not until we fast forward just a little bit more. Oh my god, we're under attack? He's just making tons of raiders. Uh, it kind of... I'll tell you what. Outriders are certainly good against raiders. They have a good attack speed, good damage, they have the first strike capability, uh, pretty good armor. They're just not good against anything else that Teal has. But yeah, if he's gonna go ahead and mass those quick raider units with medium armor, yeah, just go murder them. It, I'd be, I would normally say, well, you know, what about the... Outrider's armor, but it doesn't matter because everything Teal does does chaos damage, so you can just throw whatever armor type you wanted him. All you have to consider is your attack type versus his armor type, not vice versa. Blue, where are you with your awesome level 12 hero taking back Drakthiran Keep for reasons that I'm sure will eventually be explained to us? Veramothris, yes. 
Uh, we see a ping up here. What's going on? Just a few water elementals. They're poison. I don't know how water elemental gets the plague. Oh no, and Admiral Proudmore's flagship has such long range they can just bombard down Red's base. Oh, that's painful to watch. Come on, guys. Something exciting. I want to see Dark Green just smash himself into Teal's. Teal, really? It used to be that this was the best place to defend his Teal. I guarantee you it no longer is. It's here. It's here, guys. These these Infernal Juggernauts do splash chaos damage. They're so good. Just fight on those instead. <sighs> so it's Night Elves against North Alliance against South Alliance? Looks like it. Uh, what is this? We do see a big drop coming in from the from the Night Elves. What? Dark Green didn't kill those creeps. Okay. Did he kill? He killed the other creeps. Not going to yell at him yet. And there we go. He's landed on the shores. He's like, Arthas becomes king if you kill the Frozen Throne? Yeah. Uh, I think Brown might be a little new if he doesn't know that. And now Dark Green has to make a decision. Do I run back and defend or do I try to kill off Teal and let Yellow defend? Because ideally you do want to kill off the Black Temple as quickly as possible. It erases Teal from the game as a threat essentially. And also gives you the nice bonus of knowing that if Stromgard keeps should die, Thoris isn't totally boned. Ooh, and nope, we're seeing Outrider spam, guys. <laughs> Once again, it's not actually awful <laughs> because the majority of, you know, Light Blue's units are either magic damage or piercing damage. So they're taking reduced damage and they're doing okay. But it's just, oh, I very much prefer balanced compositions rather than this, this Outrider spam. It's just not that good. But, you know, if it looks dumb and it works, it's not dumb. Blue getting a few of his units cleaned up here. Juku, are these spawns? Yes, indeed, he built a keep so that he can summon those footmen should he need to defend that. Ah, oh, it's so brilliant. And yellow is going to move out now. Is dark green going to move? Yes, he left teal here. Teal's going to have more time to mass up. Teal, please just move back to your chaos towers. Just move back to the little chaos towers, I beg you. And red's base, did it cleaned up? Yeah, it did. Red's totally gone. Where'd he run off to? Stian one two three one, he's hiding. Oh, he's so cute. He's Sylvanas has decided to take a nice break, uh, go on vacation in the once beautiful and verdant lands over here, which have now been chopped down and desecrated by the undead. They're saying, should we get two? Okay, light blue is now gonna run headfirst into yellow, and we're gonna see how those mortar teams. Oh god, mortar teams are so good. They're not overpowered. It's not like they just erase units like they used to. There was a time when a mortar team volley would just destroy you completely. Uh, luckily, it's not that way anymore. Oh, God, a level 10 Magni Bronzebeard and a level 9 Murden. So he's doing pretty well for himself. I don't think Stakes Heroes are anywhere near that. No, level 4. Ooh, God. Let's see what his heroes are at. Oh, my God, using his special ability on Magni, just wiping out Light Blue's units. That's so terrible. He's getting flanked by these riders. And lots of damage going down on Magni Bronzebeard from the elites there. And they keep spamming the attacks. Can they get him? A hundred. Ninety. Uh, and he's dead. Whatever hit him killed him. Chandra's Feathermoon level six. Only hero left alive. Probably going to get out of there with Naisha. Naisha's a little sad because my have died. Oh, okay. Oh, God. I thought Dark Green had cleaned up this navy. He's going to try to move out past the Dark Green battleships there. Oh, it's close. It's very close. And there are the Wisps. They're the reinforcing base building units that we actually needed. Ah. Uh, Blue, what are you up to, my good friend with your level 12 hero? He's making a base. He's starting to... He's got a lot of money. He could actually quite easily take the eye at this point with that many warlocks and that many summons. Totally could do it. Our town is under attack? Who's taking it? Oh, looks like the Night Elves landed up here. He's going to take some of these control points. Yellow calling stake a bad stake. He is. Eat my head. He's a man of few words but great wisdom. Uh, wow, red down here killing off these creeps and making what appears to be quite a sizable dark minion army. That's, God, you forget how effective Sylvanas is at reinforcing on the battlefield. Uh, I certainly do anyway, and I wish I was better at that. Another they're saying is blue at the tomb. Yes, yes he is. Blue is at the tomb. I hope he gets the eye. Gotta kill that maggot. Dude, blue's awesome. Blue's been trying so hard this whole game. Yep, summons doing their job. 550 HP. Hello. Fellstalkers. There we go. Fellstalkers versus all the creeps in the world. And he's going to have plenty more summons to come. A couple mana burns going down for the most part. His warlocks have enough for another round. Oh, God. Come on. You want to break down that gate? Oh, no. 
Oh, what a jerk. Brown breaking in from the back. All these warlocks are now forced to turn around. Oh, and these Deep Lord Revenants. Oh, God, that's so painful. Oh, is this thing like in mana? Oh, mana flare. That's so bad. So now when blue tries to reinforce to fight off brown, these things are mana flaring his unit. Oh, God, they're all dead. <laughs> Everyone's dead. Sonari is there. Well, somewhere in here. Biggest. Yeah, let's look for the biggest deer thing. There we go. And brown's going to get the eye after blue did all the work. God, isn't that always the way of it? First person to show up generally doesn't get the eye. It's like the second mouse gets the cheese, you know? Uh, Teal, did you move back out and take all your control points? Yes, you did. Well, most of them. Some of them. One of them. <laughs> hey, it's something, guys. His gates have not been completely destroyed, so he is still getting demonic reinforcements. Three, two upgrades now on his army. He does have most of it back here. God, just fight behind the towers. I'm gonna cry. Why do people do this to me? Hold on, hold on. Oh, okay. Wait, druids have two allies, sentinels have zero. <gasps> oh my god, what is this nonsense? Now Dark Green landing! He wants the eye as well, and he's gonna murder the ever-living hell out of... Gr oh, pink, no, pink. Who's in here right now? It's brown, it's blue as well. They're fighting over it. Blue's gonna try to take... God, this is so close. But unfortunately, brown's unit's surrounding those doom guards, so he will get first dibs on it. He's like, give me money and I will help you. Uh, looks like blue, pink allying blue, I think is what we're seeing. Oh no, a reveal goes down. Oh, Tychondrius, be careful. Oh, no flares. Get out of there, buddy. And now Brown's going to kill off that thing to try to get the eye. And damn it, Scenarius does manage to get the eye. Uh, okay. Whew. Doesn't kill off Tychondrius quite yet. Our town is under attack, is it? Tychondrius, come on, you can get out of there. You're level 13 Nethrazine Patriarch. You can do this. You have it in you. Pink controlling the island bases. But I have to remember, Brown now wants to get out of there. But the question is, does he have a scroll of town portal? Because I don't think it's safe for him to leave right now. Scenarius getting a little bit of attack there. Oh, Dark Green trying to go in for the kill. But to no avail. Keepers of the Grove do manage to stay hold on. Because, guys, uh, that spam is not super effective. Yep, Scenarius just finds summoning more demons, healing up his army. Uh, does Dark Green have anything out there that can reinforce? Dark Green did go for the archers rather than... He went for the High Elven refugees. And now Purple Juku is the one out front with the navy controlling this. Oh, God. This is... Madness. <laughs> Light Blue is going to take over the entirety of Kalimdor because he has no ally now and he's going to go solo. That's right, solo Night Elves. I think he can do it. Yellow saying, no, 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 oh, no, 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 what? What's going on? Yellow, are you okay? Eat my head, what's up, buddy? Okay, he's got this guy in the ship. He's gonna take Muradin over to Northrend so that he can get a level 12 bronze, bronze beard. Very good, it's gonna help him out a lot. Teal, have you moved back out? He's feeling kind of feisty. He's moved back there and back out to the front. <laughs> and a very good point. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Everyone is still in this game at the 40 minute mark. You almost never see that. I'm pretty sure that red and blue are going to admit that they're a little exhausted at this point. Red just has Sylvanas in that boat there. And now we're seeing purple building a lot of units. He does not want to let these units out of the tomb if he doesn't have to. Uh, but it looks like Brown might have actually escaped with it. Did he? <gasps> Papias, Papias, something. No, okay. He does have a boat here. He can hop in the boat at any. No, it's it's Gray's boat. Do you have a boat, Brown? Oh, there's a boat for you, Brown. Go quickly, before there's ships coming, battleships. You can do it. Just go. Oh God. Oh, oh my God. Tychondria is trying to finger of death the boat, where he's like rather the eye sink than that the dirty night elves have it. Vandral Stag Helm and a couple Keepers of the Grove left behind, but you know what matters? The only thing that matters is that Scenarius escaped with the eye, and he's going to hold on to that little bit of pride. Phenomenal, actually. Dirt Green, are you going to take back anything in here? No, you're just going to... You're just going to be a, a person, a person who exists in this game but doesn't do much. Level 5, Thor's Trollbane. Level 8, Varian Rin. I don't know how... Oh, no, do not land these here. That is a terrible idea. You can see Bale's out. 
battleships are going to try to do some damage to Juku. They could actually do a lot. <laughs> and they're saying, did Brown escape? Yes, he did. He has the eye. He now controls the power of the Demon Lord Sargeras. What will you mere mortals do in the face of a demigod wielding a god's eyeball? Oh, no. Looks like Green totally sunk the ship that was carrying Braun and Muradin. Eat my head. That's... Oh, man. Where's your army, buddy? Magni. Okay, Magni's back. That's fine. Oh, yeah. This is the version where it costs 250 gold to res <laughs> revive your heroes. So that's 500 gold for losing those two. Much better to have just brought along a scroll of town portal and bailed out. Oh, so painful. I'm really glad that it went back to 100 gold. Say, so, like, is Red still playing? Mm. Green, <laughs> yellow making the same point I do. He's like, I look at my control points, and I look at Dark Green's Outrider spam, and I'm pretty sure we lost. Red building a tiny little base out here, a couple of necropolises. Necropoli? Necropoli. Something like that. Something necro. All right, blue, where is Steak? Steak, always good idea to keep on him. Keep an eye on him, at least. He's rather feisty. You see, he hasn't res my Ev. I don't think he's even going to use her. <coughs> at this point, she's such a low level that she would just be acting as an experienced sponge for things that you actually want to gain levels. There we go. Yellow chasing them off the edge. They're kicking them out of the, <laughs> the shoreline. Ah, he's going to leave Reds alive. All right, that's a thing. Oh, no, Ty... <laughs> Sylvanas is running around. He's rezzing all these dark minions. They're trying to target down Sylvanas. He does have those flares, so remember, he can reveal. Oh, Sylvanas, get out of there. There's nowhere safe for you at this moment. And there we go. Dark minions get cleaned up. Blue, blue. Did you put your guys... Yes, he got a couple workers out. Where is heroes? Tychondrius, level 13, running around with a single buddy. He has a single... Just get Dreadlords, guys. Just build up a Dreadlords force at this point. Why not? You're already a Vagabond. Ma oh, no, God. He reveals there. Tychondrius is trying to get out into Outland. Oh, no, shit. Guys, keep an eye on Tychondrius. He's such a baller. Uh, Sylvanas running ahead of him. Oh, God. Keep going, guys. You can do it. Sylvanas trying to hide behind the trees, realizing that's not the best idea. Windwalk one more time. Come on, get out of there. Those towers are hitting you. Tychon I'm sure I'm missing exciting stuff, but I want Tychondrius to live. All right, now he's back in. Oh, Blackrock. Sylvanas steps in the door and gets her face shot right off. And, oh. <laughs> Blue. Poor Reaper of Doom walks right into Ragnos and just, Ragnaros is just going to stare at that skull of gold and be like, yeah, that's what I do to people who fuck with me. Uh, we see that Gray unfortunately dropped out. But Val Ryan's still alive, and you think he's still allied to. There's no ally screen here, guys. What happened? How did how did this happen? There's what? <laughs> I can't even see what control points are going. On. Hopefully, it come back at some point, because otherwise, I'm just totally lost. All right, cool. Green and purple moving down. What has Orange been up to all game? Questar, I know you're a good player. Where are you? Sort of just defending for the most part, getting up his mean little squad. Oh no, what are we seeing? Pink is attacking North Alliance. Whoa. Job done. Job done. Let's speed that up. They're going to take that out. Uh, we don't want to miss down here as well, though. Teal going to put up a valiant fight. Get back there into the front of that line. You have the advantage, especially against Outriders. Come on. Just, you have, oh, you could win this. All right, maybe he wants to flank before he commits. Flank and then attack and then squish between? Just... Do you have a strategy, or are you just... Do you just not want to engage? I don't... Uh, this would better be for some kind of big overall trap, I swear to God. Oh, come on. No, see, because Dark Green's going to pull back, kill the... There we go, Teal moving in. Get Mag Theridan in the fight. There we go, hold off that... Send in more units. Come on, block it off. There we go. No, just keep pushing. Don't let yourself get caught up on two or three Outriders. Uh, more Outriders coming in. Even Varian Ren himself still has the crown. Don't know how. Usually Outrider spammers lose the crown immediately. And then GG. But he does manage to kill off a great deal of Teal's units that were blocking off this choke point here. So he can't escape if he so chooses to. Uh, but it looks like Teal does have enough to hold on here three two upgrades for him four four upgrades but again outriders are awful 
against everything that isn't a raider. Uh, looks like yellow. Whoa, yellow actually cleaned up this pretty well. He's going to start building amazing defenses. The only problem is green's pretty aware that elven ballista are the way to go for siege and he's already we've already seen him build dragon hawks so likely he's just gonna go ahead and <laughs> dark green like for fuck's sake just die already teal so we're pretty sure that green will use those dragon riders to excellent effect and go ahead and make some or oh, cast that cloud ability saying brown in what what oh brown allied teal that's right scenarius and magtheridon together <sighs> Purple saying, we're just going to kill Ragnaros, and that's it. Just let us through. I promise you. <laughs> Cenarius has the Scepter of the Queen, the Horn of Cenarius, the Eye of Sargeras. Very scary force. And again, Dark Green just going to spam Outriders. Why? Because it's the easiest button. I'm assuming it's the Q button, and he just likes pressing it. But, guys, remember, if you just spam that, at the end of the day, you will be QQ. Oh, God, don't lose Varian. Uh, Cenarius. Very oh, God, so much damage going down. Speed up a little bit. See a stun going down on Thoris. Bolvar fighting bravely. Nope. Forced retreat again. He's like, level 10 King Arthas. Who fed you guys? They didn't actually get fed. They worked for that. They worked for that really hard. <laughs> Jugu saying, stop the QQ. Who fed you? Well, whatever you guys want to call it. You both have high level heroes. Oh, God. Okay, they're running it. And indeed, look at that. Oh, these towers mean absolutely nothing. Once that cloud has been cast on them, they're stacked too close together. What an excellent formation. It would have just murdered everything. If only yellow could take those things out of the sky. That's why you build griffin riders. That's why you build riflemen. You have to target those specifically because right now they're pointless. Uh, and meanwhile, everyone's like, you guys do realize the night elves have control of the vast majority of everything. <laughs> Yellow getting a little snippy, be like, thanks for the help. And Dark Green says, dude, GG. Uh, sitting at that portal is pretty tiresome for Dark Green. What is what is Dark Green's money at? 538. Is he going to build champions? No. Priest? No. Is he going to build spearmen? No. But you know what he is going to do? He's going to upgrade all the way to professional armory armies and then be fucking useless. The good news is he can change those outriders into knights, which are only slightly better for spamming. <sighs> not easy fighting two battles at well, once. Shut up, Dark Green. Stop spamming horsemen and learn to play, okay? I hate to say it. Don't just... This isn't like every other game out there where you can just figure out what the most overpowered unit is and spawn it endlessly. It's not going to work that way. At the very least, Dark Green does seem to be resistance against pu people pulling him in. Uh, Castle's going to go. He's like, sorry about my temper. I've had to deal with a new ball game. Yes, you did eat my head now that now dark green and yellow are gonna have their lovers spat this is like when you go on that honeymoon and suddenly you see something that reminds you of your ex-girlfriend you mention it offhandedly and oh my god next thing you know you're not getting any that's right yellow and dark green are not getting any from one another at any time soon and the tower goes down oh goodness and now guys just go ahead and watch them fight they're so cute you can tell they've been married for a long time <laughs> yeah, you did mass units, Dark Green. I'll give you that. You've been massing units quite well. Yeah, you wouldn't have said to spend nearly as much gold if you hadn't... <sighs> if you had... <sighs> God damn it. Whatever, Dark Green saying he had a very confused yellow. I think Dark Green was a confused one. And hold on. Guys, I'm going to make sure that I'm not just totally talking to myself again because I... <laughs> I swear to God, I've seen this before, and I'm really, really afraid that I've cast this game once already. I desperately hope not, so excuse me while I pause the game and check. Okay, guys, I can't, I can't find proof that I've cast this game before, but again, I did do like half an episode with a friend of mine a while back, and then I just didn't end up using it, so maybe I've watched the first half of this game and I've totally forgotten. I hope that's what it is, and now we see... Dark green, just getting cleaned up. Sure have a lot of great fighting spirit. Oh god, evil leaves the game voluntarily, saying "screw you." I'm um, brown. Two. He's got two control points. Felhorde has seven, and they're gonna try to win. Oh, Varian Rin, get him out of there. Yellow wants that crown. Oh, will you let me join the alliance? Says yellow. Uh oh, they're gonna make a team of four, but the alliance is doing fine. Look how many control points they have, guys. 
Yeah, they are easily the biggest threat in the game right now is the North Alliance. Ugh. I, I, I don't know what to say. Where did the crown go? Is it on Yellow's hero? No, I... Alright, whatever. Whatever. Brown and Teal are moving out, as far as I can tell. Yes, they are. We got Mag Therrett in there. But they're going to run headlong into... Th oh, no. Oh, the Alliance. They're all here. Red, purple, green. Sorry, the right colors, I should say. And now they're backing out. Oh, Sonarius, get out of there quickly. You don't have boots, Sonarius. Why don't you have boots? Oh, God. Arthas going to try to surround Sonarius. No, get out of there. Oh, he's using the taunt on those units to slow Sonarius down and keep him getting pulled back. Oh, God, Sonarius, get out of there. Teal sending some units in to try to back him up. Oh, get him down. Oh, there we go. The heal goes down from Sonarius. He's going to be okay right now, but he needs those boots and he needs some gloves. Not gloves. Boots and ring. Get him a boot and ring. Just get him some pretty gifts. And Magtheridon, too, needs boots and rings. And, whoa. Actually, the Night Elf Navy getting chased away by the vastly superior Elven Navy. Oh, bit of a grudge match there. And just some uber gray ships that aren't doing anything right there. We do see patrols for stake on spear so what is he doing he, he's massing up with pink so did he ally pink he must have yes he's allies with pink now but as far as i know druids are also allies with pink but light blue is not allied to Bro okay no oh god robert are you still here oh yeah okay sorry he's teal he tried to use these burning blade masters and he did quite a bit of damage but now he's gonna get him caught out of position he's gonna lose them all so much money invested in those god he has to hope the wind walk comes off cooldown and he can get out of there no they all die horrible deaths filled with lead oh it's terrible it's painful it's scary and dragonhawk riders being a bit of a pain in the ass here lots of aoe damage going down is that the eye being used yep that would be my guess actually holding on pretty well doing a ton of damage to purple's lines question is can he hold on with those chain oh now lots of damage going down on nerzulin's lines his units are much weaker and with those ranged attack spells you can see that his units don't have the protective barrier that is supposed to be purple and therefore he dies but did mag there no maggie back here level 11 scenarios level 14 still has the eye but it looks like they're running out of units teal has sent everything in there and that you have to be careful when you're using the eye of sargeras and using that AoE attack because you can just murder your own allies lines now yellow coming down is yet yes yellow is allied to the north alliance oh no scenarius mag and get out of there you demigod demon bastards and green taking back trying to take back northern but these sentinels fully buffed eight seven upgrades 28 to 50 damage and again they turn into those dead units when they die we're we gonna need to see one of them go down no not yet but i want to keep an eye on that Oh no! They're stunning him! Get out of there, Mac Theridan. Has Stormwind been destroyed? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, that is so mean. The Alliance is going to wait to destroy Northrend until they kill Mac Theridan. He's not revivable. <gasps> Fuck! Fuck, where are you, Sonarius? You need to help your brethren, your buddy, your pal, your friend, your bro. Oh god. 300 health on Mag. Three. Oh. Oh, they're going to get Garethos. No. Yes. He's he's fine. Mac Theridan, you might want to leave. They could just turn around and murder you. Okay. Purple's gonna leave. Purple's gonna stop. Everything's gonna be fine. Have have any sentinel unit Yeah, there it is. Okay, what are these things? Twenty four to sixty magic damage on the spirits of vengeance when fully upgraded. That is insane. Oh, the sentinel seems like such a good unit to mass. Cause you know, they'll do that AoE. Like let's say you're fighting Archimon, he does the AoE, kills off your sentinel, and then the magic thing comes back. Although I don't think he can kill argument, but I'm just saying, you know, it's it's great because even if some AOE kills you, you have that second life and a different damage type to hold on to. Uh, let's see, yellow streaming more units down here. Are they going to try to break in? I feel like, uh, yeah, they're going to do it and it's going to be absolutely terrifying. Robert, 313 gold trying to hold off. We see Sonarius there using the eyes AOE ability. God, it's so good. If he had a full group of keepers too, it would be terrifying. But... Unfortunately, he doesn't. So he's just going to have to work with what he has. Mac Theridan staying in the back trying to suck up more levels. Between the two of them, though, they are just experienced whores. Ah, Hero goes down trying to use his special ability. Did not work. Yellow retreating with his mortar teams. He doesn't want to lose. Oh, my God. Look at that. That buff for holding that. They managed to hold it off even though the outside alliance had the Dark Aura control nexus. 
Here we are, Stake on Spear. He's decided to move in and take the North Alliance. They've got a Town Hall, and he's going to start spamming Battle Mages. But is it enough? And in, Okay, good job there. He's targeting down the building rather than the units first because, again, I think Orange probably has a lot of money to spend. If, yeah, he's got 1,800 versus Stake on Spear's 634. Better upgrades for Stake on Spear, though. Almost double. Actually, yeah, double the upgrades. So he's going to wipe out these Battle Mages very, very quickly. And then he's going to take over the control points. Good job for him. We do see a teleport coming in. Who's going to show up? <gasps> it's Purple. Purple and his hero squad. He's going to try to fight it off. Where's Stake on Spear's heroes? They need... They're doing approximately jack and shit. Come on, teleport in. Don't just use your units. Hero squads wipe out units. It's something we've learned. Don't be dumb. And Yellow's trying to lure, it would appear. Uh, yeah, yes. No. I don't know. But meanwhile, oh god, orange and green deciding, hey, you want to attack us? We'll attack you. you want to, we'll tell you what. I'll give you a good price on Kalimdor if you trade in. I'll give you a good price on the uh, Lordaeron if you trade in your used Kalimdor. Uh, I don't think that Stake on Spear is going to be exactly amicable to that idea. And it looks like his Ancients of War got killed? Or he moved? He moved them back. Okay. I was going to be very confused. And guys, we basically have a base trade situation going on here, except that it doesn't really matter. <laughs> at the end of the day because they'll just trade control points and then eventually one of them is going to have to kill the other uh, I've always liked that about this game you can't just you can't just do the base race situation you'd be pretty smart about it oh these little piles of ash and smoke were buildings once but unfortunately now they're just smoldering remains come on oh purple's got a pretty mean army coming in and you'll be like yeah knights are great against these sentinel units right yeah only until they die and come back as stronger awesome units Please, you have a Chandra's. Oh, okay. Whoa, Chandra's with multi-shot upgrade, and he's totally stacking Claws of Attack. Unfortunately, he can't get those gloves, so it's not as phenomenally overpowered, but it's still really strong. Chandra's is an amazing hero to use. She's a little squishy, though, so you gotta watch out for her. Lucky thing is, she blends in with the rest of the Ranger-looking units, so it's kind of hard to pick her out sometimes. You have to figure out who's shooting 17 arrows at the time. Oh, her. Okay, I'll kill her. Oh, oh, Chandra's, get out of there. She's fine. False alarm. And while Light Blue controls the Tree of Eternity, he doesn't really have to worry about his units. He has a, just an automatic... Oh, no. What? What? What is going on here? Arthas can't move. Oh, <laughs> Arthas got stuck. Uh, no, he's literally stuck in a wall. Kill the city building, maybe. I don't know. And meanwhile, Green's trying to fight off. It's elf on elf action, guys. I know a lot of you are going to freak out and be like, Ooh, that's hot. No, stop it, okay? It's just, it, they're fighting. It's not sexual in any way whatsoever. Purple, cleaning up these units now. Uh, he's going to make sure the North Alliance is safe. Let's see, did they find the base production is the question. Yes, they did. Cleaned it up with some knights. And Arthas still stuck. Yep. I think you might actually have to kill Arthas and then resurrect him again. 250 gold and a lot of time down the toilet. <laughs> That's really actually quite unfortunate to see. Do see some Dark Iron War Golems and Dark Iron Sharpshooters. I, are those cloaked the entire time even while they're running? Because that would be pretty mean sniping capability. And wow. Okay, so pink, brown, and teal. Now an Outland. And this just looks like the most hodgepodge base I've ever seen in my life. And you know what? I love it. I absolutely love it, guys. It looks great. Speeding up to times four. We're going to see what happens. Does Light Blue drive out? It looks like he is driving them out, but a big navy from green coming in. I don't think he has any support ships carrying units. No, he doesn't. But, oh, Light, Light Blue. This looks dangerous. Can you kill it? Kael'thas is a very dangerous hero, especially the Night Elf, since he has that Flame Strike ability. Plus, Ballista will do tons of upfront damage and just wipe out your army. Okay, they're fine. Oh, it looks like he did finally kill off Arthas. Uther! Oh, he lost Uther, and because Capital Palace is gone, he's dead permanently. We see Tyrande activating her final ability, but Green just backs up, runs out of range, and then continues the fight because his entire army's ranged. He doesn't have to come to you. Uh, I can't tell who's winning, actually. This is sort of a fair fight at this point. I'm seeing all the abilities getting used. Chain heals, these Shadowleaf Sentinels using their... I don't know what's it called. Something... Knife? Knife of fucking awesomeness? <laughs> oh, look! Brown, teal, and pink are now out here, and they're going to take the Dark Portal Control Nexus. And yellow just has three Dwarven Keep Towers built one on top of the other. You'd think he'd learn that that's just... That's going to hurt later. 
I know, it's fine. There we go. Stake taking back the control points, diving, driving deep into the Alliance forward base. He's going to wipe it out. I think everything's pretty much gone here. All the, all the bodies stuck in various forms of pictograms that we've seen on cave walls at some point. And Yellow, with nine control points, is going to have to fight off the eight, 12, 14, 14 control points of the horrible, demonic, scary, awful army that he's about to face. There we go. We do see Keepers of the Grove finally coming into the equation. Thrall, do you still have... No. I guess he probably doesn't still have the Doomhammer. But Thrall's back. He's alive, guys. He's joined with the evil and the good and uh, a lot of stuff, actually. Oh, man. <laughs> These towers are just kind of annoying, aren't they? They spit boulders so quickly. I imagine that there's dwarves in there and they're just so manly that, that that's just spitballs for them. That's not anything special. Wow, Yellow actually boxing up this army very well. Uh, I don't know how long he can hold it, but oh god. Oh, improved cannon towers do so much damage. This is just not beneficial to our... Ah, Jesus, they might break Yellow. But what cost? Magtheridon might go down. Where, where's Scenarius? Okay, he's in the back. He's fine. He's still got a couple keepers. And they're going to have to retreat. Wow, Yellow held that. Yellow, you amazing bastard. I love your fighting spirit. Eat my head, you rock. Job done, job done. <laughs> Sounds like me speaking dirty to some rock person. Eat my head, you rock. Yeah. Oh, and are they still fighting over control points up here? No, it looks like the Alliance has it pretty firmly in hand. Yellow, uh, Green, rather, has all the control points. 22 for him, 25 for Lorder on 32 for Sentinels, and those are the only real big players at the moment. Uh, orange left orange oh that's right quest star left i have no idea why he did it but he did speeding it up once again guys we're gonna see if mag theridon slash scenarius slash thrall can actually ever escape outland uh purple loading his units into an orange transport ship and load moving himself down to the south alliance territory speeding it up again guys nothing's happening Except that it says that things are... Okay, a uh, small skirmish from Green's Navy up here. Yellow getting more elites. Purple coming in with his hero squad. Mag Theridon and Scenarius unfortunately exposed. God, be careful. Be so careful. And what is this? Light blue. Just control point sniping. Okay, speeding it up again. At this point, we've gone too far to do anything but do a one-episode thing, so I'm going to have to speed this up as quickly as I can before I have to go to work or school, because I don't know how long I have left. Hunt, what time is it? 3 o'clock? Alright, guys, i got time. A half hour. I think we can get through this. If, again, on, uh, you know, mostly times 8 speed. There we go. Tyrande activating her ability. We can see lots of damage going down there on the front lines of the Alliance. And Chandris is always in the back. Super buffed up. Flame Strike Sword. Four Claws of Attack plus 15. And her multi-shot ability. Oh my god. It's, it hurts so very much. E she does a lot of damage. What's this in the back? Dagron Thorosian. Level 14. Tharason? Tharason. Th Thar Dagron Tharason. I don't know. I've done this little dance before and I still can't figure out how to appropriately pronounce his name. But he's a pretty cool unit. Some people were saying he's the best AoE damage unit in the game, but if his ultimate is an avatar, I'm kind of... Oh, is he a ranged unit? He is a ranged unit. Okay. Uh, I don't know what abilities he has, though. Luckily, Yellow still has Brawn and Muradin, and they've decided to join forces with Dagran. Dangran? That means, of course, in Chinese. Dangran. Yellow has a new castle. I kind of like the SimCity thing that happens in late, late games when people aren't constantly attacking. They're like, all right, I'm going to build up bases everywhere. I'm going to make... Uh, and more control point sniping. Their Zulin still only has 5-2 upgrades, whereas the Sentinels have 8-8, eight, eight, so they're going to have a pretty easy time with that. Oh, poke back in. Got to be careful. Chandra's Feathermoon. Very scary. Again, lots of footmen up here. I'm thinking he's getting defend because he has to worry about a lot of these ranged with archers and stuff. But again, he's also got priestesses, huntresses, Naisha, heroes, stuff like that. Uh, but yeah, hold on. These ultimates do do piercing damage. So yeah, if he activates defend at any point, then I would say that Juku's doing a good job. Units defending? No, they're literally just fodder. Uh, they could be used to such great effectiveness. Arthas gets aimed down again. Oh my god, the hero sniping is really painful. Stake on Spirit is using Chandras to ruin people's days. 
And slight damage goes down on his line. But okay, some units getting re resurrected by Purple's Paladins. Again, if they had defend, it would be so much more effective. Oh my god. Even some Shadow Leaf Sentinels aiming, trying to aim down Murden. But no, he's got Avatar. He's going to be totally fine. Uh, Pink saying, I need wood, actually. I bet you do. Dirty, dirty wood person. And Yellow, all the time, making sure not to commit too much to this attack because he does have to worry about these uh, pink, teal, and brown. God, I cannot used to saying those colors together. Those do not go together. Uh, those guys are further. And Garethos gets murdered as well. At, God, it's so hard. Night Elves are so good for just sniping heroes. It hurts my heart to see that happen. And do we see it? Ah, oh, green took the control point back. Yellow saying, oh dear. <laughs> I just choked on trying. I was like, green, yellow, 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 or yin, as you might prefer. Freaking out. He's like, oh my god, we're actually losing at this point. What is this? The Nidals have 34 control points. Is everyone else fully upgraded? Teal still only at 4-3. Uh, yellow, 6-5. What is yellow going for? He still hasn't killed... Okay, still hasn't killed Ragnaros. That's acceptable. And the Skull of Gul'dan still sitting there from that poor Netherzine Patriarch's foolish journey into the realms of Ragnaros' scary, fiery depthness. Ragnaros is a very deep guy. You should see his poetry. I like it. In my fiery heart burns. Predictable line, but still very deep. Okay, Nerzulin losing control points to light blue. Nothing really overly exciting there. We also, oh, Stasis Trap catches a bunch of Stasis on Spears units, but I mean, ultimately, it just scares them off for a minute. And like, no, need for wood, but gold, unfortunately. What? Valrhein, what? I don't understand what you. Okay, so all your heroes are dead. After you stab me in the back, haha, <laughs> lord. And Brown saying, perish, traitor. I don't know. I don't think Brown understands what's going to happen when Chandra starts attacking his army. There we go. Light blue moving in there. Teal, for some unexplicable using, reason, using Cord Cavalry. Uh, I, mean, I guess that's a ch Oh, my God. Uh, I take it back. Lots of AoE damage going down on, on the lines of the Night Elves. And if all these units were actually committed, they'd be doing even better. Especially with some siege damage to help out with that. Sorry, guys. I keep jumping away from the fight. Uh, heal's going down. Wow, lots of heals actually going down for... There we go. Start using that AoE on the eye. That will kill Light Blue's army, no questions asked. Green moving down here. Oh, Stake had some stuff down here. Stake has 3,644 gold. So he could theoretically fight off Green, but I think there are heroes up here. Uh, I can't tell. Green, where are your heroes, buddy? Nerzulin. Kael'thas is here. So is Anastarian. Yeah, so he'd just be feeding them levels at this point. You don't ever want to put units against just heroes. What's this? He's dropping the Claws of Attack, but for what? I think he's going to try to snipe somebody. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Light blue, where's Chandris? Where is she? He wants Cenarius, I know that much. Where is Cenarius is the question. He's dead. He's He's dead. Yellow, realizing he's losing, is saying goodbye. <laughs> okay, that's fine. Who has the eye? Oh, okay, Chandris has the eye. I, okay, I was wondering. There we go. So now Chandris with the eye. Super scary. 100 extra... Uh, 100... Hundred and twenty-three extra damage. Sorry, guys. I don't know why my microphone went out like that for no reason whatsoever. Uh, let's make sure it's at the right volume. Okay, good. <laughs> oh, light blue saying on ally pink. Uh, that's right, he was allied with pink. He didn't realize that his buddy was going to try to turn against him. Oh, poor guys. Let's speed it up because I'm not... Who's even still here? All right. So it's teal, purple, green, and light blue. All right. So my guess is purple and green versus light blue is the only real... Uh, struggle we're actually gonna see all the deal is trying to just spam lots of units, but again Chandris level 18 now and she has the eye Oh, this is painful Let's go ahead and watch those. I mean teal's doing decent damage, but again Chandris is just super scary up oh, stuns back there and starts hitting him and dead. Yep Did Stormwind keep die? 
Nope, McDurden's dead. <laughs> Teal says, lol, you're an asshole. <laughs> I like that he had the LOL. Uh, steak being kind of a punk saying, get down. <laughs> Stay down, you beast. Maybe he was warning him post-event. Like, he saw the arrows going at McDurden's head. And then he's saying, get down in advance. Like, get down, you're about to be hit. Uh, and he just didn't listen. Or Steak didn't say it. Soon enough, one of the two. And Teal making a good point that I've always agreed on. I just, I don't like late game Chandra stacked with items because she feels way, way too powerful for what she can do. Green moving in now. He's going to start trying to take Kalimdor back again. And Teal bails out, so Light Blue feels totally comfortable. <laughs> and Juku staying stake. Just give up. You can't out mic roll me and Nerzulin combined. And he's saying, yeah, right. Whoa, Anastarian could get... Anastarian's dead. You know, you make, you, you're make you making a lot of noise, Juku, but where's your army? Oh, it's all the way over here doing nothing. He is making a lot of towers to defend, but meanwhile, green is going to be just fodder, essentially, for the hero group of light blue. Chandras does too much damage, guys. You can't, you can't top that and the eye and a fully buffed night elf army and Taronda. It just doesn't work. Wowza. Um, that true shot aura, guys. What is buffing her that much? It keeps switching. Okay, I don't know, but we're seeing that Taronda has almost double her normal attack from something. Saying, uh, with Arthas I could... What, was he saying with Arthas I could win? I don't know, I, I can't rewind. But you guys can, so go back and check it out. I'm sure you'll understand the conversation more than I do. Green's gonna keep pumping units out here. Okay. It's not a bad idea if he can lure Light Blue into that choke point. And again, stake on Spear, microing, making sure that he's making uh, units, taking out all the control points that he can. Purple, where are you, Purple? Whoa, that is a lot of castles. That's a very strong defensive formation. Anything that attacks will have to deal with actual units being built, and then four, four no, three, four castles worth of summoned units at a time fully upgraded. Wow. Juku, you mastermind. I love it. What is he pinging? He's saying, hey, I got stuff up here. Okay. I don't want to miss this big fight, though. Taronda activating her ultimate, wiping out Green's army. Oh, God, and these Ballista do not have the correct angle to do the right amount of uh, splash damage. Speed it up, guys. We got, like, uh, maybe sixth of this replay left, so I'm going to have to speed it up. Okay, so Light Blue chases uh, Green out. Green does have a pretty big navy here, so Light Blue has to be worried about getting killed. And Steak on Spear saying, make sure to save the replay. Just in case he's not the last one in game. There we go. Single Doom Guard taking most of the hits from that navy. Uh, but he retreats. He's going to engage with... Oh, there we go. There's Purple. He's finally brought in his hero squad. And it's looking pretty strong. I don't know. Let's go ahead and take a look at these... The Silver and Paladin 6-8 upgrades. Okay, oh god, yeah, that's not going to favor Light Blue, especially if he's uh, fighting on the shore with those Alliance battleships, destroying him. And finally, he did get defend for his footmen. Oh, I love it, I love it. Thank you, Purple, for being, for learning, for showing that you are capable of learning. And meanwhile, Huntress is just killing off Yellow's buildings for no particular reason. And purple, Sim City time, baby. Get up all the forward bases. Chapels, barracks, more chapels. I don't know why he's getting... Oh, two chapels and two barracks. Okay. I thought he was doing three chapels and one barracks. What kind of balance is that? Uh, oh, up, oh, up. Oh. Up. Oh. Guys. Oh, no. Steak. Why does this happen all the time? What? Now I know I didn't cast this replay because I would have yelled at you for this. Why are you using the cheat where you can build unlimited numbers of light blues elite? Why? Do you think just because you're alone that's okay? It's not! You have the eye. You have a level 20 Chandris. You do not need to cheat, light blue. At this point, I would honestly be okay with green being like, well, fuck it. I'm... I guess I'm going airships, but unfortunately airships don't exist in this version. Just this horribly bugged thing where Light Blue can get unlimited numbers of elites. Uh, I'm, at this point, every replay stake sends me, I'm just going to assume he does something douchey. 
What is this? Uh, no. Light Blue is just taking back some control points. And there's Ner'zulin's army. Who wins? Three Huntresses or all of Ner'zulin's army? It's... It's Light Blue until more reinforcements come. <laughs> Slowing it down. I'm missing stuff. No, I'm not missing stuff. I'm okay. Things are fine. They're building a lot of dwarf stuff over here. There we go. Griffin Rider Squad. Dave Rolf moving around. That's a tribute to one of the people who's helped get the map going and always made sure to be a super good at feedback and stuff like that. Stake, how much money do you have? 6,300. Oh, God, I'm missing something. There's a big attack. Trying to focus down Chandris as much as they can. Uh, there we go. Activating. Wow, man. Just so many elites there. Kind of obscene. Luckily, while they're in their ranged mode, yeah, that's right. Footman can reflect it. Ah, it's not as effective now, is he, giant cheater face? Garethos used his ultimate for no reason. I don't think it was benefiting him at all. Maybe I'm wrong. Let me know later. Juku 6 8 upgrades. These knights are just going to take glaive after glaive to the face and die a horrible, yet brave and oddly touching death. <laughs> And speeding up times four times six times eight. Oh, guys, I don't even care about the control point sniping. We're not gonna watch that. What we're gonna watch is this big giant fight here at the end. Uh, throwing some footmen at this army for, for why? Garethos, okay. Shockwaves. No other heroes being brought in. Is Arthas dead? No, Arthas is there. Arthas could just run and use his special ability and just do a lot of damage. Fighting on the Moon Fountain of Health, benefiting purple far more than light blue. Light Blue, where did you go? Where are your heroes, man? Stake, did you take them down to fight off? <gasps> Yo, that's what it was. Green and purple, dual-pronged attacks. Very good call. Uh, neither of their armies can exactly stand up solo. And there we go, seeing the eyes AoE going down on there. And Tyrande's ultimate. Oh, you don't want to see that. You want to run away from that. Run away. Yeah, he does. Okay, good. Phoenix going to die immediately. Let's keep an eye on the egg. It's an egg. Look, 200 health. Is he going to make it? Oh, he's so cute. Oh, my God. Oh, and he's dead. <laughs> Purple, meanwhile, streaming. Footmen, knights, everything. Oh, God. It's so scary. Sending priests as he's trying to reinforce here and yet leave just enough down here to fight off green. Oh, no. you got to make sure he doesn't get caught in this choke point and caught between two armies. That would be awful for him. Purple, did you build keeps? No, okay. What? Where? Are, there were a lot more footmen over here. I would have sworn. Uh, were those summon footmen? Um. Okay. I don't know what's going on. Light blue forced to retreat once again. He has seven thousand resources. Nerzulin two hundred ninety-six. Juku one thousand eight hundred. At this point, light blue can just sort of spawn. The question is, does he have? Yeah, he's, he's got a lot. He's got a lot. And he does have tons of units spread out all over the place trying to keep these control points away from green. And green just being a constant pain in the buttocks. The buttocks. And is he going to kill green? Is he going to go in for the final hit? Uh, big flame strike goes down, but he's still okay. He's not out of the fight yet, ladies and gentlemen. He's got moxie. Uh, purple with a flank. The hero squad flank. Oh, my goodness. Backing some of his elite squad back out of there. He's going to try to target down these heroes. Single Shadow Leaf Sentinel doing a pretty good job. Green looking like he's holding quite well, though. Oh my god. Chandris, where are you? There we go with the hero targeting. Oh my god, she's so strong. Oh. Chasing purple away. Trying to target down these heroes with both Elites and Chandris. Not working too well for him right now. Green still chain healing, still spamming everything. Green actually having to upgrade his units because they can't just fight Light Blue as one big army. They have to move all around and try to out-micro him. And that's what these cavalry that you're seeing are for. They're going to force Light Blue to make more units in more places. On uh, Two mines. Two mines are in more places at one once than one mind, guys. Pretty good job. <laughs> Even some Sentinels getting sheep. God, that's a long-ass sheep. I, w I would love to see someone just go nothing but sorceresses, and oh my god. Chandris, Chandris with your multi-shot murder in the faces. More footmen coming in. Garethos still alive. Where's Arthas? He's dead. Arthas is dead. He's four levels lower than Garethos. It looks like every time he sees Arthas, he just goes ahead and hero aims him. And I'm actually, it's one of the few heroes I'm okay with hero aims.
Hey guys, and welcome back. Sorry, I God, my mouse is going out occasionally. Sorry, right, my mouse, my microphone is going out occasionally. There we go. Steak fighting on two fronts. He doesn't care. He's a man, a hero, if you will. But these huntresses are very weak against footmen. Seriously, though. <laughs> and oh, Kalthos goes down. So much damage on Steak's army. Oh, it's dying. Green definitely has the advantage right now in this combat. And light blue. Oh, there we go. We see Garethos using his ultimate ability smashing the lands of uh, the armies of light blue what is this though okay i take it back because he has chandris and because he has taronda here they're holding on pretty well but he realizes oh crap i'm actually gonna retreat and try to kill off garethos because my entire army is about to die to the never-ending ghost i feel like <laughs> nearly headless nick the the headless horseman and oh that's right chandris is here so she'll kill everything uh, blue, 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 and dead. Toronto didn't even take that much damage. Now, Chandris, yeah, there we go. Get back over there. Still don't like that you are massing up those elites. Steak. You giant cheat. You giant cheat, cheaty face, cheater, cheat monkey. If Purple could go ahead and take Nordrasil, actually would be pretty good for him. They would get the rejuvenation upgrade, and I think that would probably just end it for Steak. He says, it's all because Arthas is bugged. Why is Arthas bugged? Our forces are under attack. Oh. Our town is under siege. Okay, apparently Arthas just can't move. Arthas is just literally incapable of moving. That's really weird. I have no idea what that's about. I do agree. This would be a very different fight if Arthas was in there. Uh, that ultimate, his splash damage chaos, big strong unit, very scary. The more he levels up, the more he snowballs. We've seen Stake use Arthas' ultimate to ridiculous effect. And there we go. Pushing them back out here. He's pushing them into the Azara coast. And, yep, Chandra's Feather Moon's just gonna start spamming. Yep, she's snowballed way too hard at this point. She's firing like seven shots it. And Light Blue saying, yep, it's GG. I think you're the only one left, buddy. You just said it to nobody. Is he just gonna kill everyone off to feel good? Steak, man, steak. Oh, he sent me a replay where Arthas is bugged and you mass. You mass. You're fucking elites. I don't. Whatever, and it's still going, and he's still just... Alright, there we go. Let's, dare I look at hero kills? 17 hero kills. Guessing they were all on Chandra's. Unit kills... 1,800. Yep, everything favoring stake in this game, guys. So there you go, there's a replay showing why 1.85 needed to be fixed because that mass elite is gay, and I still think Chandra's needs to be nerfed because after a certain point armies become pointless to her like they don't even matter doesn't matter at all and now it's time for class thank you for joining me this has been azathan and i can't wait to see you guys next time